Hello, I'm going to do the Capricorn love reading, and this may or may not resonate with you. If it does, take the parts that do resonate, and if it does not, leave the parts that do not resonate with you, as those may be for someone else. All right, so we're going to get an Angel Answers card. We're going to get a Romance Angel cards. We're going to get some tarot. We're going to look at past, current, and future energies. We're going to get some clarifiers and close out with an Oracle. All right, a lot going on. Capricorn love life. Capricorn love reading. All right. I guess we'll, we'll take these, right? The situation will improve. Well, that's positive. Helpful people. Let's get a romance angel. like these two here all right we have separation time apart from your partner is on the horizon oh we have three here we have give your relationship a chance work on your partnership and we have it is safe for you to love open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all so it could be that for some of you that you're definitely having some struggles within your relationship right now and you may have to um, separation could be that maybe you decide to um, take a little break. It could also be that maybe someone has to travel for work or has to has a family situation going on and they have to go do that. It also can represent that, you know, kind of mentally you're sort of separated, right? That you're not connecting, you're not seeing things eye to eye, that you're kind of you're kind of each mentally in your own corner. So it could so that can represent lots of different things or it could just be hey you both decide that okay let's just not talk about what's going on right now with the relationship let's figure out how we feel let's figure out what is most important to us that we want to discuss and we want to work on and then let's pick a time and a place a neutral ground where we can sit down and we can talk about things or or let's talk about this when we're both in a better frame of mind you know Sometimes it's like one person wants to talk, but the other person is really tired and they're like, oh my gosh, I don't want to deal with this right now. I've just had a really hard day. So it could, it could be that, that you both pick when it's best to talk about a situation. All right, so we have Eight of Wands and then we have the Eight of Cups. We have the Queen of Pentacles. We have the Empress. We have the Seven of Swords. We have the King of Swords. We have the Six of Pentacles. I love that. We have the High Priestess. We have the Knight of Pentacles. And at the bottom of the deck, we have the Page of Wands. I love it. So the Page of Wands is about communication. It's about communicating. It's about reaching out. It's about making that effort. Okay, so definitely communication is very key here. But like I was saying before, is making sure that you wait until you're both in the frame of mind to talk about the situation without it turning into an argument or a fight. So definitely here for past energies that we have something that needs to be let go, somebody, something that someone's holding on to, something that has to be dealt with, right? There's some kind of hurt, there's some kind of emotional feelings that are that need to be released or let go. And it's like you have to be ready to be able to face that, right? So something happened back here, whatever whatever it is that that happened. And it could be that maybe the two of you are separated, right? That maybe the two of you, this happened and the two of you kind of walked away. And maybe right now you're ready to face things, right? You're, net, you're ready to work on things. You're ready to, um, you know, you want this relationship to grow. You want this communication, thinking about what it is that you want to discuss, that you've been thinking about things. And you're like, hey, you know what? I really want to work on this relationship. Now, this could be a friendship, right? That maybe you and a friend, maybe something happened and you got into this big argument. And so now the two of you aren't talking or it could be a family member. And now you're not talking and you haven't talked, spoken for a while. And now you're thinking about it and you're like, you know what? I, I really miss that person. You know, I'm, I'm saying that I'm okay, but I'm really not. I really miss that person. I really miss the communication that we had. So it could be that you are thinking about, okay, how, what are those things that I need to do in order to get this relationship back on track? 
can I reach out an olive branch, you know? Can I reach out to this person? I want to reach out to this person. I want to fix this situation. Um, future energies, we have the Six of Pentacles, which is sharing, right? We have these hands that are reaching out, and it's about sharing and communicating. And High Priestess is that feeling inside is that you feel that, okay, I want to share. I want to communicate. I want to turn things out around for the good. I want to turn things around for the better. It's going to take some time to do this because it's a whole process that the two of you have to work through. But it's like extending that olive branch. I feel like that's the first motion, right? The first thing is extending that olive branch. But only when you feel you're ready to do it, right? And you realize you, you're, you're clear about, you know, what part did you take in this situation to get to this point? What part did they take? What is it that you need to, to talk about? What is it that needs to be discussed? What needs to be worked on, right? You have to figure out how you feel about everything first and being aware of the energy that you put in and, and being, being able to be ready that if that person says something that irritates you or bothers you, that you're not going to react to attack, that you're going to listen to what that person has to say and you're going to hear them and acknowledge that that's, if that's how they felt, then that's how they felt, right? That you're not going to fire back at them, that you have to be able to hear that information on what they have to say. All right, hope, positive energy direction what direction do you want to go and you have to be in that so this could be the lovers can represent any kind of relationship right it could be a partnership like I said it could be a friendship it could be um, a family member whatever that is so definitely having hope you have to get yourself into a positive frame of mind before this is discussed right before this is worked on like you can't go in with guns a blazing because it's not going to fix anything all right um, we have the magician, which is individual empowerment and everlasting love. And it's you taking a hold of the situation, you taking control of the situation, you making the move, you figuring out how you feel, right? Um, eight of wands, we have eight of wands twice. So that is move, that forward energy, right? But we have the sun right here. So it's positive energy moving forward, right? Um, queen of wands, taking those actions is it to reach out, right? You Are you the one that's going to extend that olive branch, right? To get this relationship back on track, to get that connection back, to be back in the positive energy, right? Because I feel like it's a relationship that's very important to you and that um, I feel like it's a relationship that you've had for a long time and you've built a lot of memories and that you've grown a lot with this person and you've... Um, kind of evolved and changed and you guys have been through a lot and I feel like it's something that you really don't want to lose or let go of and it is safe for you to love that also has to do not only it doesn't have to do only with partnerships but it can be, be with those friendships because then you wonder well you know if you're really hurt by this person and it's a friendship it's like well I don't know do I want to put that much effort into a relationship you know friendship anymore because I got hurt by this and I feel like it's being that energy of figuring out, you know, how can we get this back on track? And, you know, maybe there may, there may be some things that you have to, that you have to discuss and you have to talk to with this person, but you have to do it in a confident way, right? You can't let that other person steamroll you. If you have,